Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new year. A time for setting new goals, giving up old habits and getting creative. My name's Rob Wilson, you're watching C4 eTech and this is 7 helpful, interesting and colourful Android apps to kick off 2016. And where else could we start 2016 but with a New Year's resolution type application? Goal Tracker offers just that, with a simplistic material design that allows you to set goals and track your progress, all of which can be set up through a single screen. All you need to do is create a title, set the start date and a description of what you intend to achieve. Then you can set how often you need to achieve this goal, be it daily, weekly or monthly. The final piece of a puzzle is to set a notification reminder that can pop up to tell you it's time to stick to your New Year's resolution. The process takes little more than a minute, which is why I've chosen this particular application, and tracking your progress is just as easy. By tapping on one of the goals, you are taken to a calendar view, where you can track your progress by marking down success and failure in each day of the calendar. From here, you can then swipe left and right to check your other goals, and everything's tallied up back on your main screen. This all leaves just one big question. What's your New Year's resolution? If your resolution is to use your smartphone or tablet less, then AppBlock might be that necessary evil you need to have in your life. Just like Goal Tracker, AppBlock has that wonderful one-screen material design approach, making things quick and easy. The idea behind the app is to create a window of time within the day when access to particular apps are blocked. So you set the days and times which can be tailored for when you're at work or trying to spend time with your family in the evening and so on. Once you've chosen your times, you need to select which apps are to be blocked and this is done through the usual manner of swiping through all your apps on the device. When you set up your app block, back out to the main screen and toggle it on. The next time you try and access the blocked app, a message will appear telling you it's been blocked and how often you've tried to access it. Now, of course, it's easy to turn app block off again to bypass this, but at least you might feel guilty about doing it. Now for something a little more fun, but very simple. MikoP is a tiny app that will add a bit of flavour to your boring contacts. If a contact is displayed by a simple one colour letter, MikoP, through simple left and right navigation buttons, will add a pattern based on the current colour scheme. You can cycle back and forth through the patterns until you see one you like, at which point you can apply it as a contact picture. Next time you view the contact, you'll be greeted with the MikoP infused picture. Just make sure you back up all your contacts as a precaution before using this or any contacts application. The next creative application will do more than just change contact pictures. With a single swipe, Tap It generates a unique static wallpaper, and it only takes a matter of seconds. The wallpaper is based off various themes that you can change by swiping up, and there are more themes available in the paid version. To change the colour scheme, you can swipe left or right, and to go back to a previously generated wallpaper, you can swipe down. As you like and dislike wallpapers using the thumbs, Tappet will learn your personal preferences and generate future wallpapers according to those tastes. And when you find a wallpaper that you like, tap the tick button to instantly apply that wallpaper to your device. But if you can't be bothered manually generating wallpapers, you can let Tappet do it for you at set intervals to automatically change your wallpaper. And remember, just like Tap It, this video has a thumbs up button that loves being tapped. And now for something completely instant, because that's what this app is called, and what it does is provide simple daily device use statistics instantly. The main screen shows device usage, app usage and fitness information if you are using something like a smartwatch, and you can drill down into each section for further information. Taking the device usage statistics as an example, it will show you how many minutes you've used your device on any particular day and how many times you unlock your device. This figure will always come as a surprise to you, that I can guarantee. You can also display this information in a graph and sort the statistics in various different ways. Now, of course, this isn't the most comprehensive device usage application available, and sometimes it's not completely accurate, but it does display important and interesting information that may intrigue you. 
And perhaps the best feature is the ability to place these snapshot statistics onto your home screen by the widget that's provided in the app. If you're very geeky about such things, Instant is definitely worth checking out. Next up is an application so unusual I can't even film it through my Android screen recorder. Pixelor is like a macro lens, focusing on individual pixels to show you precisely the colour scheme of anything you want to focus on. As you drag the zoom lens around the screen, the outer rim of the circle will change colour to match the current pixel and provide you with a hex colour code. You can dive even deeper by swiping down your notifications to launch the Pixelor application. Here you can get more information about the current colour palette and play about with the hue colour wheel. Admittedly, the practical use of such an application might be limited to coders, hackers and developers, but it's a fun little tool to mess about with when you've got nothing better to do. Just remember to turn it off through the notification tray once you've finished, or it might get very distracting very quickly. Now, disk storage can be a difficult thing to work out and manage if you can't see a visual representation of it. Well, disk storage does that for you, but that's not the half of it. With my video editing program, I could zoom in and pan on different sections, but all I will be doing is replicating exactly what the app can do itself with a tap on one of the blue folders. This app will continue to drill deeper and deeper into your disk storage, visually displaying and numerically listing the size of the folders until it hits a orange file. But it doesn't stop quite there. If you want to turn this into the Google Maps of your disk storage, you can use Pinch to zoom in and out and fly around your disk space with complete freedom. The application will also allow you to open or delete files, and it can scan external storage too, such as SD cards. Disk storage is the perfect app for gaining a better understanding of what's clogging up your space whether it be cache files lurking deep within the system or a massive movie file you forgot to delete. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget your New Year's resolution, which is to always click that like button. Both myself and C4E Tech can be found on these social media channels on screen now, which leaves me with one last thing to say. Enjoy the rest of your tech day and your new tech year.